Hey everybody, what's up? Spence here, Dorky Doodles. Today we're going to be talking about something that, uh, you know, we're going to talk about, self we're going to be back on the self-development bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, so today I am talking about a couple things. One, staying, being back on track. Yeah, I know I've talked about it before. I'm talking about it again. Because you know what? It's the thing that comes up a lot. You know, because you fall off the wagon. You are developing yourself. You're trying to build up the endurance and the willpower and the muscles to like keep going at the thing that you're going at. And then one day you don't. And then one day you don't. And then you slip off. But you got to get back on the horse. Getting back on the horse is the most important part of any horse riding activity. <laughs> So that's important, right? And I've said that that's important a million times, and obviously it's important. How do you do that, right? What motivates you to do the stuff you want to do, right? And here's uh, kind of my thoughts on it lately. Uh, I recently made a video at my uh, my cousin Cameron's wedding about passions. And I didn't, I mean, it was just kind of a quick video, and I was like, man, I got to make videos again. I'm going to make this video here. It's got a nice view. I'm going to make the video nice and quick. And I decided to make it about uh, passions and stuff because, I, I don't know, I was at a wedding. It seemed relevant, right? But here's, I'm going to bring it all together a little bit now. Um, the only way you're going to move forward or do stuff or, like, we're, our, our bodies and our minds, and we're motivated by happiness, right? And, like, essentially we're motivated by happiness. So, like, how do you, and you know... Uh, long-term happiness, right? There's a, there's a difference between short-term and long-term happiness. There's like a short-term happiness of, you know, eating that cheeseburger. And there's the long-term happiness of being in really good shape because that took a long time to accomplish. And, you know, along the road, it was actually very difficult and a lot of it wasn't that much fun, right? So how do you, like, obviously long-term happiness, way better, way more important. Uh, it's just, it's, I mean, short-term happiness is great. You want to be happy day-to-day, -day, right? Because you, you can't, like, that would suck, too, if you, you weren't happy in the moment, right? So how do you manage both of those, right? How do you make sure that you're kind of not ignoring your long-term problems for short-term results? And, like, how do you go about doing that? How do you, like, get in really good shape without hating your life every day because all you eat is oatmeal or whatever, right? So this video is all about that. And my latest theory about it has actually been inspired by this new app that I got on my phone. It's really cool. I think anyone who's into self-development or like organization or to-do lists and also is a bit of a nerd like myself should check it out. It's called Epic Win. It's, this, it's basically a to-do list, but it makes the to-do list into like an RPG game right so it's like you got a little character and then you check off you, you actually you hold down a button and your your character beats up the task that you're gonna do and then you get experience and you start to level up and stuff and you get to mark off stuff so it's a really cool fun way to keep track of building on and habits right and that leads me to the point of this video is in order to make long-term goals more realistic more attainable and more enjoyable the the key is to make it fun right people don't do stuff that isn't fun you don't want to like like here's the difference between someone who's successful at the gym and someone who's not successful at the gym enjoying going to the gym that like that's literally it that's the only thing like you have to like it right because if you like it you're gonna do it if you don't like it, you're not gonna do it so how do you do that how do you make things fun. Uh, this app is a great example. Like I wanted to make sure that I was getting more organized and literally having a to-do list and checking things off and wanting to do that. And I've done that. I've tried to integrate that into my life a couple times uh, with varying degrees of success. And I feel like, you know, one of the things that kind of stopped me from continuing with that is because it just, it felt like a chore, right? It didn't seem like I was doing a fun thing with my life, and every time I would do it, I'd be like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to do that. I felt good about it because 
uh, on a long, I, in my long term thought patterns, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm actually, I'm doing good right now, right? And that's, that's great because you want to kind of tweak your habits to gear your mind more towards long term results and thinking about things like that in long term. But there's a part of you that is, you know, here and now in the moment and, you have to do, you have to appease that part of yourself, you know? You have to, you can't deny that part of yourself, right? You have to have fun right now, as well as being, taking correct good steps so that in the future you don't wake up and you're 500 pounds and you have regrets and, like, you never got married or you never met a cute girl because you didn't go out or blah, 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 right? You have to literally make both. You got to make both happy, right? And that seems like more work, but it's not. Because there's only one, like, Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle, I don't know if anyone else there reads this. It's a great book. Check that out. But literally, the only thing that exists is right now, right? Future is down the ways, but you know what? You're going to get there kind of someday, so it's kind of like, you got you to gotta do well to, you know, I, and this is, I'm now that I'm talking about time and stuff, I'm getting all confused. But basically, you got to be happy now. And you want to, uh, in order to have, in order to be happy now, you have to feel like you're going to be happy in the future, right? Okay, this is good, this is better now. In order to be happy now, you can't regret the decisions you're making right now because you think it's going to turn out bad for you in the future, right? So in order to eliminate that regret, you have to both do something that is A, fun, and B, productive and good for you in the future, right? So it's actually pretty easy to just make those the same thing, right? You just have to use your creativity, you know. Some people are a little less creative like, creative than others. That's why there's apps and cool little games and, like, little things you can do. But you have to use your creativity to find a way to make the thing that you, you should do, the good habit that you want to have, not only into a good habit that you want to have, but into a fun thing that you're going to do every day or however often you want to schedule it, right? So that's... My little tip for today, uh, make it fun, have a blast, and I hope everyone has a really great day, great week. You know, it's almost Canada Day. I'm pumped for that. I'm, I'm going to work the whole day, but I got the next day off after Canada Day. It's going to be sweet. So I'll let you guys go with that, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Goodbye now, y'all. <laughs>